Here's a short little video on how I use this one-ton arbor press and my 3D printed stamps to stamp leather. So first, first off, it's important to use good quality tooling leather, vegetable tanned leather. This is about a four ounce piece, one inch by one inch. And you have to case the leather or get it wet. I'm trying to do this with one hand here while I'm videotaping. So you have to get it wet enough that it's wet about one third of the way through the leather. Sometimes you can kind of see that from the side. Anyway, but then you let it dry um, enough so that the surface goes back to pretty much the original color. I've done that with this piece. So it's still moist inside, but it's back to the original color on the surface. And the reason for that is that the leather is too mushy if, um, if it's still too wet on the surface and you won't get a crisp impression. Plus your stamp will tend to stick to the leather and pull it up a bit when you pull it out. So put the stamp onto the leather and then just a one by one inch stamp, you could, if your ram is nice and flat at the bottom, you could just use the ram. But I like to use uh, a piece of steel and lay it right on top. Gently lay it right on top. And you can kind of see. And then just use the ram. And you can kind of see how far it's actually pushing into the leather and I don't need a whole lot of force and that gives me a nice impression.